what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash what's up what's up you guys i am so so happy to be on camera today i've been like something's up like i feel like every time i get on here i'm like something's up but like i haven't been uploading which is crazy because i've been filming so much but the videos kind of like stopped in between right so with this video i was like you know what i went to the stores I went out, we went to Sephora. We went to two Sephoras actually, and you're gonna see in the video. We also went to none other than Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's decided to surprise us with some new stuff, okay? And if you are late to the game, I mean, hopefully this video gets to you in time before things sell out, but Trader Joe's really, really came through and you're gonna need these things because if you love that Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream scent with that pistachio, oh, it's so pretty. This Brazil Nut Body Butter Body Scrub, their new body wash and not to mention, there's a candle. You guys are gonna see. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Don't mind my voice. I've, I had a cough for like forever. So now my voice is really, really hoarse. Um, if you didn't know, my last video, I announced that we hit 100,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so, so, so much for that. So you're going to see me shop. And then we're just going to sit down and kind of chat about the things that I purchased. And um, so you'll just see, it's just going to go, 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 right? And then we're going to be right back here. Just kind of like giving you my review and my first thoughts of the things that I purchased. And before we go to the store, let's talk scent of the day. And if you are new here, I love to ask you guys what your scent of the day is because it allows me to, you know, know what you guys are wearing, what you're interested in. And it can give the family in the comments some ideas, some new fragrance combos. And it's just fun to know how you smelling. <laughs> It's cute. My scent of the day is this newer replica fragrance. This is called On A Date. I decided to wear this one because sometimes I want something that's a little bit more loud and I felt like this was gonna give me that. Now, I will say the longevity with this is not really there like I want it to be, but this is very nice. I love perfumes that are named on theme in this sense. So like this one is on a date. So of course, if my man's taking me on a date, I'm gonna wear this. And oh, I don't wanna go off on a tangent, you guys, but I kind of put on makeup every day. I wear a nice shirt, I do my hair, I kind of want to put myself together as much as possible, right? But some people say that I'm really dressed up with nowhere to go. I work from home. For me, mentally, right? I have to get dressed up. And it's not dressed up to me. To me, it's just like me putting myself together because if I don't, I'm going to be looking all sluggish in the house. But I love putting myself together. Um, it helps me feel good mentally. And that's why, of course, sense of the day is important to me because it does give me that like purpose. You know, I smell good, I feel good, and with that, I'm gonna perform well in all the things that I do throughout the day, even if it's not much. So if you haven't started wearing a scent of the day, this is why I have such a big collection. It's not because I just, you know, buy perfume just to buy it. Like, it just does something for me, and it does give me something to look forward to every single day, you know, because I get to wake up and put on a new fragrance, and smell good and of course feel really really good about myself so if you haven't yet make sure you leave your sense of the day in the comments down below and um let's head to the store i'm at trader joe's in the parking lot hopefully they have the body wash and the candle here because i don't feel like going to another location because another location is about like 20 to 30 minutes away from here so that'll be a bit of a drive but i'm excited hopefully they have it and it's a one-stop shop you know what i mean <laughs> So this is the salted caramel pistachio scented candle. Looks so cute. Put that in the cart. Ooh. 
and then they have the brazil nut body wash right here which i am picking up and they have more of the body scrub over here look at that right there i haven't finished the one i have at home so i don't think i need to get this today but really exciting i'm gonna probably get two of these candles they even have this bag here but oh the bag is only 7.99 too it's not bad at all but i don't need this huge bag where am i gonna wear it they definitely did great with this release because they have a way more than they need honestly i mean they just did really well because i feel like you know if you want a candle i mean there's plenty so i picked up three and then one body wash so there's plenty of body butter and plenty of body scrubs this is the new Tatcha Silk Serum. This Joe Malone perfume, I really want it, you guys. My friend just got it, so I'm kind of like, dang, should I get it? It smells so good. What is this one here, though? Oh, this is the Red Roses. Cute. Okay, let's see if they have any of the new Sol de Janeiro fragrance mist behind here. Dang, they only have these three. When in Rio, do not disturb and bikini season. Okay, let's smell bikini season. I don't love that. When in Rio. That smells okay. And let's try do not disturb. Smell like alcohol. Damn, I really want the lip oil. Oh, I think it's sold out. Oh no. You know what's so crazy? I just asked someone if they had any left of this and she was like, no. But why did I walk around and I found more? What's crazy about this store is they have Sol de Janeiro in like five or six different parts of the store. I'll show you. So this is one part. Here's one side of Sol de Janeiro. Walking over here, they have this whole other side right here. Like, hello. And then here's a whole other side. What the heck? And then here in the back, real sneaky, there's more. Like, I would have never found this. This is like at the way back of the store. But I'm glad I did and I didn't listen to someone because I was about to leave, y'all. But I'm really liking this one right here, Do Not Disturb. This one is the one I think I'm going to buy. It's pretty. I like the scent. I don't love these two, I don't think. Nah. Let me get copyrighted in here, but let me smell these again. All right, I went to a second Sephora and I finally found some of the lip oil from Jisoo, Gisu, I believe. So I'm really happy about that. I wish they had the body oil too um, because I heard the body oil is really nice. But I think this one's just the hair perfume. If any of you have anything from this brand, uh, let me know what you think because this is going to be my first products from them. Nessa Sierra also has a new body cream. It's about $45. It's pretty up there, but I like the packaging. It's nice. Feels expensive. We are back from the stores and I have my coffee. I have my bags and of course the goods that we need inside the bags. Let's talk about Trader Joe's first, okay? Here is my bag from Trader Joe's. So it looks bigger than it is because I wanted to show you guys the packaging from these boxes that they released. Maybe like, it was it last year? I don't know, I think it was last year. So this is the Brazil Nut Body Glow Set. When they released this set, I was like, whoa. Like they know this is one of their top sellers. Like people sell this out. They run to the store. They even had limits on how many you could purchase when the body butters came out because people were buying like six body butters. It was that good, okay? This kit here comes with the body wash, the scrub, you have the body mist and the body butter. And you can see the tubes here. They're white and they have like a really nice colorful um, writing on it. And this was really nice. So I just kept this set. I had this at my parents' house. So I was like, oh, let me go pick it up so I could show you guys this, I guess, older set now, even though it's not that old. The new release that came out, right? Oh, well, this is another one that I had for a while. So this is actually, I believe, the body butter. And, you know, this one is, let's see. 
Let's open this right now. Dang, she's hard. She's a tough cookie. So let's go ahead and put this back on. And I just wanted to see if there's a difference in the consistency. So I don't think there's much of a difference as far as like the consistency in the butter being that it's in a tube. I mean, I feel like usually when I get body butters in tubes, they're usually like body creams. And maybe that's because I'm used to Bath and Body Works. Oh, this it smells amazing you guys if you don't have at least one in your collection i highly recommend now let's get to the new stuff all right and just angle the camera downwards a little bit so new stuff right let's talk about the body wash now of course i didn't buy any body butters or body scrubs because they have enough right i'm saving it for the new people that want to go try it right but this body wash i love the packaging this is so amazing and the price if i only had the receipt do i have the receipt is this the receipt? I hope and pray. No, it's an Ulta Beauty receipt. I do have the receipt. Yay. So I want to see how much this costs. It's pretty big, okay? This is $5.99. Um, the packaging is beautiful. It's really nice. It's just fun to find these things in Trader Joe's. I spent a total of literally $17.96 with tax. So you know everything was like twenty dollars not even and i got three candles and a body wash this body wash smells good now i have to see how it looks in the shower i want to show you guys how it looks on the inside it has like a kind of creamy white look to it it's not clear so you can see that the camera will focus the scent is pretty on point. It does have a slight like soapy scent to it, but it's pretty on point to how the body butter smells. And I, I believe the only thing they didn't release this time was the uh, fragrance mist, which is right here. So that's that. Um, and it's literally, if you guys want to see, I'll open it. So this is the fragrance mist which is fun like i feel like you know if you love fragrance mist this is nice you can keep this in your car whatever i do not believe this is available now but i think as an influencer and someone who is always online talking about things it's good to bring things up because they listen and i would love if they could bring that back and if they did bring it back let me know i hope i'm not speaking incorrectly but i don't believe that's out but you can correct me if i am wrong mm. I have become a coffee lover. My boyfriend actually bought me a coffee machine. So I've been able to make my own coffee at home. It's so much better than going to Starbucks and having to like, you know, pay so much money for coffee. I get my coffee at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and I pay like, what, six bucks, not even for the whole thing of the coffee. And it, it like, I'm not a huge coffee girl, but girl, this right here is real good. Mm -hmm. I put a sugar-free creamer. And then add some protein milk in here. It's like a little pick-me-up, seriously. Let's get back. So, now let's talk about the candles. This surprised me. Like, they got me with this. Like, it, I could have been like, okay, I don't care about the body wash. Like, who cares? But the candle, I couldn't miss out on this. Like, there was no way I was going to miss out on the candle. I got three of them because I know myself. And if you're a fellow candle collector, fragrance collector, you know. When you get something that's limited edition, you don't want to use it because you don't know when it's going to come back again. And that can be a good and bad thing. You know why? Because then we don't get to enjoy our products. But a lot of us, you know, me included, just enjoy having the candle and smelling the candle and that kind of does it for us like we don't need to burn it but because i do want to burn it i want to experience it um you know i got three of them let's talk about packaging beautiful packaging i love the i don't know it's like pinkish purple it says that it has salted caramel and pistachio all things that i love um you would remove this paper before burning of course you can see the wax you see the wax here, real, real smooth, nice, nice, creamy white. I'm going to burn this. Let's light it up and see if we smell anything. It's obviously going to take some time. I don't know, but let's see what happens. All right, so that candle is burning. We have two more, so I don't feel too bad. Go get these for yourself before they sell out. I feel like this is like the most popular thing right now. If you love like salted caramel and pistachio scents, 
this is definitely gonna be your thing now I'm thinking about it though because I've been noticing that like I think I'm not the biggest pistachio fan like I like this I think when it's more gourmand I don't know but pistachio is like a gourmand scent accord whatever pistachio is gourmand anyway though but like I think other notes have to be in there because I'm thinking about my Kaali and it's a pistachio scent like this right here is a legit pistachio yum gelato this is one of my only like pistachio like, perfume perfumes like i mean i have like fragrance mist and stuff and this has let me turn it around and read it to you this has pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy i don't get those notes from this i don't know but then i like it but it's very different Pistachio can be different like I have something else that's pistachio I recently got and you guys it is like oh You guys it's this cream. Let me get it. I just my brain was not getting it So I got this so that I could pair it with my Kaali yum uh, Pistachio gelato right now and this is the pistache skincare body butter It's a hydrating body butter with pistachio oil and you can see it right here let me show you up close and I'll show you how the cream looks on the inside. You see that? Pretty, right? And I've used quite a bit of it. Now, I will link this below. Um, I got this on Amazon and I will say that it's just, and don't mind this, I don't know what this is. It's like a, I got this bump here right on my chest and I can't get rid of it. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of, and maybe I'm wrong. But it kind of like almond and pistachio sometimes smell like cherry to me and I don't like cherry perfumes or scents. I'm not into it. So this is coming off to me as a cherry scent and I don't know why because these two do not smell the same to me at all yet. Pistachio is their main note. And then you have like this right here which is pistachio and I mean it's just they're Oh, that this is all so good. Oh my gosh. And then you have this which let me spray it on me. Oh I like the way this smells. It's good. It's really good. It's cologne very fresh to me But I feel like as it dries down it changes, but this right here smells like Oh cherries. Oh Jesus kind of give me almond vibes. They're all in the nut family, but mm, I don't know. I think after a while This smells better on me but anyways, that's my pistachio comparison. Let's talk about Sol de Janeiro um, because Sephora had me on a rampage as you saw. Sephora haul, let's get it. So one thing, so this is a new fragrance. They gave me a sample, really nice, um, from Maison Francis, Kirk John, okay? And this is called Aqua Media Cologne Forte, okay? So I didn't like this when I smelled it. I was like, whoo. And I mean the sales rep was talking it up, but personally, it's just not my thing um, But I'm very grateful he gave me a sample because I may not have liked it in the store But I could actually end up liking it, you know being that I'm at home So I don't want to spray too much on me because I want to really smell the Sol de Janeiro fragrance mist and that's gonna be way lighter than this Ooh. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this one you guys, but it's evoking bath water and light green Okay it has a tea woody musk accord matcha matcha tea Ugh. it's very green and woody and just not my favorite but hey i love this fragrance house but today this ain't it for me for me all right let's get it the two that i ended up purchasing are do not disturb i don't know where that who's in that song again I don't remember, but I did not like bikini season. I think that's what it was, right? The only reason I didn't like that orange bikini season one was because it just, I don't know, I think it was like a floral something. And I would have only purchased it for the name and like imagine like an Instagram photo with me in a bikini when I get snatched again because your girl been eating that relationship weight. It's true. It's true. <sighs> Ten pound. 
and it's funny both of us eat really healthy and I cook and he cooks and we try to eat really healthy but I don't know if it's just that we're eating a lot we were going out to eat a lot anyways yeah but that's the only reason I would have purchased the bikini season like an Instagram photo of me in a bikini and then the fragrance was on the side of me cute so I got do not disturb I really like this I was actually going on like Mercari and stuff and I was like oh my gosh is this like sold out cuz like on Mercari somebody was selling this for like really high like you know what I mean and I was just like ooh really like is this really that good like that it's needing to be resold and stuff like look at this I mean get your coin but like this one right here it says like it's forty dollars on Mercari if you guys can see the price Someone selling that one. And I mean guys, like call your local Sephora first before you're trying to like, oh my gosh. This one is crazy. This one's selling for 120. For like four of them is like 120. So I don't know what it was about these that they're so popular. So I was like, you know, let me go check it out. So let's open it. I like to not do that. What if I need to return it so I can just easily like put the plastic back on? Let's see the notes for this. This is the first day of vacay. It says that first day of vacay feeling in a sheer floral scent with notes of airy mimosa flower, warm musk, fresh linens. They got me with that because I didn't even know that. And y'all know I love fresh linen scents and not to mention, boom, here's the boom pow, okay? <laughs> a soft vanilla. Clap it up, you know I love vanilla scents. So, that must have been why this one was my favorite. Like, they made this one for me, like for Ash, okay? And y'all, my YouTube plaque has not come yet. I think it takes like three weeks, but when I get it, y'all will be the first to know. I'm so excited, like I'm checking the mail every single day. It just feels like I hit 100K, but the plaque isn't here. And it's, I'm so anxious. I feel like I need 10 of these, 10 of these. This one smells amazing, amazing. Now. I wanna go on to four right now and read the reviews. I actually like these kind of videos cause I'm just like sitting down like chatting with you guys and like, I don't know, it's fun. Like the shopping is always fun, okay? But like just sitting down and like talking, love that for me, okay? So let's look that up. So maybe I'll do like a screen share cause I feel like that kind of helps with you guys being able to see what I see. So let's see, I'm gonna type in do not disturb. Oh, here it is right here. Perfume mist. Okay, so it is available in store as you can see you can tap to see what's closest to you It's out of stock Not in many places like I mean the one in the Boca mall that was where I actually bought mine Which is kind of crazy So these aren't always accurate. So I do Ooh, y'all see in the front <laughs> screen, but um, yeah, these aren't always accurate So you guys can order for delivery um they do have same day delivery too so anyways i want to read the reviews so again you see it's in the warm spicy fragrance family floral musk that allows you to unwind with sheer notes of mimosa flower nude musk and warm sand um so review wise someone said it fades too quickly which i'm like mm, okay i mean let's see I don't expect these to last that long. They're fragrance mist. I like to just freshen up with these. Like, if I'm looking for my all day perfume, this isn't usually what I'm going for. But, um, you know, to each his own, right? Somebody says, I love this one. I don't understand the negative reviews. This scent reminds me of the Clean Skin Reserve perfume. It's a light, fresh musk. The only downside is that it doesn't last long. Valid. Love that. They gave it five stars. This one said, This is their new favorite. Wow, they said although scent preferences are definitely unique to everyone, this is a very clean and warm but not heavy scent. Like it's a, eh, they said like sweet freshly washed linens. Okay, I don't know why I read that so bad. Scrolling, someone said it's a cloud dupe. Um, smells just like cloud by Ariana Grande. So I don't really need this. Um, this one lasts longer than the bikini season though. Didn't buy that one. Someone said one star. Ew. I've had really high hopes for this one, but unfortunately it was extremely underwhelming. It smells exactly like the Ariana Grande perfume, but even worse, it smells like a baby powder and it's extremely icky. Will be returned. All right, let's read one more. Terrible one star. Worst Sol de Janeiro scent ever. I love Sol de Janeiro, but there's no way I'll be wearing this ever. Smells like a man, but not in a good way. 
<laughs> I just love reading reviews. I mean, hey, it is what it is. The only reason I really wanted to read the reviews for this one is because I really like it and I did want to see what others were saying about it. I love it. I love it. I want to say go to the store. As you guys saw, they had plenty of trials there so you can spray it on in the store. However, when I'm in Sephora, I feel like my nose doesn't really capture everything due to the fact that I'm smelling so many things. I feel like Sephora just has its own scent and it's like you're not getting an accurate um, scent from there. So being that I'm home now and I'm smelling it, I love it a hundred times more. So if you got any of these and if you plan on getting any of them, let me know. But this is my number one and it is going to be my summer scent. Let's talk about this one right here. When in Rio. When in Rio, I believe one of them, right? So this, so they should have been pumping them out. Okay, let's just discuss that. This is one that they just came out with, which I love. Now, I don't know if I love the fragrance mist as much, but I love the body cream. So this is Rio Radiance, right? And then there's like When in Rio. I don't know if these are the same one. Somebody told me that one of them is like the same. So this is the Rio Radiance. It has tuberose, late de coco, and I want to say it's white florals, creamy coconut, and a warmth of the sun on the sand, right? So this one here is, oh, I can barely read it. This is vanilla, jasmine, so I don't think these are the same. But one of them they said was the same, so I'm going to smell this. And nothing's on this hand, so I have all the room to smell, okay? Let's do two sprays. I always let it air out because sometimes with fragrance mist, they have a high alcohol content, so. This is beautiful. This is just beautiful to me. I feel like I should have gave bikini season another chance, even though I didn't love it. I should have probably took it home with me, sat with it, but I just know myself. I buy something, I am returning it. It's just annoying to have to go back to the store, find the receipt. I probably lost the receipt. Now I can only get store credit. Who wants to do that, right? No. But this is beautiful. They're both very different. I wonder, the two together, a cotton candy mix, they're not gonna smell like cotton candy, but you know what I mean. I love it, I do. I wouldn't say you're wrong, I really like it. I feel like you should try it for yourself. If anything, we can read the reviews for this too, if you'd like, um, just to see what people are saying. But I love it, it's vanilla, amber, bergamot, and ombre vanilla. See, I think that's what it is with me. I just like that ombre vanilla. So let's do reviews for when in real. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and type that in. Oops, I accidentally typed in bikini season. Uh, when in Rio, let's see. Perfume mist, again, it's in stock at most locations. Um, the, what it is, is a warm amber perfume mist that flings with daring notes of wild bergamot, luscious pear and twilight jasmine. It's in the floral family. It's a warm floral though. It's beautiful guys, it is. so. Let's read the reviews. Doesn't last at all. Two stars. Smells really nice for a solid 30 seconds before the scent disappears. Hmm, okay. Someone says, now it's their everyday fragrance. Five stars. Someone said this is their new favorite. This is why fragrance is subjective because you might like something that I might not like and vice versa. So be mindful when you're like taking the opinions of others. Um, I always say, go smell it for yourself. You guys can see it here. There's plenty of five-star reviews. I think one of the most common concerns and review is that it doesn't last long. But again, that really wasn't something that I counted on when it came to this. Not even the regular um, Sol de Janeiro, the original, doesn't even last that long, if I'm honest. Even the perfume perfume doesn't last that long to me. Someone says, why was this the last scent to sell out? This scent is lovely, doesn't last, not for me. Weak fragrance, try before you buy. Great idea, <laughs> I would definitely say that. But so far the reviews on this one are really, really good. Like clearly people like this one. So I just wanted to share that with you just in case you didn't wanna go read the reviews for yourself. So I'm grateful to have found these and to be able to sit down and talk to you guys about them because I feel like they do smell nice and it is summer so buying things that are kind of like on theme for that summer, well it's almost summer, sorry. Um, it makes me excited and it just, I don't know, like I need a vacation. 
need a vacation, you guys. I haven't been able to travel anywhere this year besides I went to like Pennsylvania and it was freezing cold it really wasn't a vacation vibe oh I did want to see if that smelled anything similar so I'm gonna spray this right here on my arm and um, see if there's similar at all so this is the uh, real radiance and I already feel like off rip this is giving me more of like a suntan lotion scent rather than um, yeah it's it's that sunset like you know if you've ever tried the tom ford um sole blanc if you want to pair these two this will be the perfect yeah oh my gosh they smell the same oh my goodness this is perfect so you can spray this as your main perfume and if you want to like do a little touch up throughout the day bring the real radiance with you and then not to mention pair the body cream oh my gosh i'm gonna make like a shorts about this you guys yeah they're two different scents Absolutely, you need this combo right here. Anyways, let's talk about my lip oil and then we can get up out of here. I've been eyeing this specific lip oil for quite some time and the only reason I did not purchase was because it was an online thing and I don't know what it is about me having to purchase things online that I just didn't do it. And at the time, this wasn't available on Sephora's website. I believe it was only available on the Gisu website or whatever. So I was just like, eh, don't feel like paying shipping and all that. So I happened to just walk into Sephora. I didn't go to Sephora for this. I went for the fragrance mist and I saw this and you guys saw it was sold out. I went to another Sephora, again, not for this, but I saw it and they had, they were basically fully stocked. And again, lip oils have been really, really popular lately. Like, you know, there's lip gloss, there's lipsticks, but the lip oil is kind of like that therapeutic feel. I love to apply a lip oil at night. Um, I wake up and they're pretty much gone, but I just like that feeling. I honestly can't sleep without my lip oils. I love Tatcha. Tatcha is the lip mask. Um, but this I've been using and I really like it. This one says simply glide directly onto bare lips or underneath your favorite lipstick for an extra dimension of hydration and shine, which is nice. I didn't even know that. So here is the packaging. I think what that's really what drew me to this. Now I'm gonna open this for you guys so you can see and I'm also gonna apply it on my lips to give you guys the review of how it looks and feels. I have a lipstick on right now, but for y'all, I'm gonna take it off. Um, so here it is, right here. This is, you can't tell me this isn't gorgeous. It's honey infused. So when I put it on, yes, I do taste the honey. However, once it's on my lips, it doesn't really have much of a taste. And if you know me, I do not like very heavily scented lip products. So this is absolutely perfect. It's a 10 out of 10 in that aspect. So now with this opening it, you can see how it looks gorgeous. You can see this right here, really, really pretty. It doesn't have too much on here, so it doesn't feel like you know you're applying like so much one thing about it i know some people do not like thick lip products so it is definitely going to give you that full coverage but it's not super thick like the touch of lip mask or like the dior lip oil like those are really really thick this one to me is not as thick but it's not thin either um i think this is a very good it's like a happy medium and i'm very impressed by it this is one of those things where it's like i want it in my purse because i don't want um, I don't know. I just feel good. I'm like, ugh, let me take out my lip oil. You know, it's just like a vibe. Look at that. Let me go ahead and take off what's on my mouth right now, including my lip liner and everything. So you guys can see how this looks on my lips. And of course, I'm going to link this down below so that you can get your hands on it too, because it is really, really nice. All right. So here we are. I'm going to put it on my lips. All right, let's do it. So you can see it right there, that applicator, gorge. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Uh. So it applies a great amount. I think that's a perfect amount. You can see that honey on there too. Make sure it's an even, really applied layer. All right, there we go. Go ahead and put that back in. And now you can see how that looks. Let me make sure it focuses on me. And it's not leaving those little streaky marks. It's 
perfect. All right, so I have on my lip oil. I have on a million fragrances, but it was such a pleasure to shop with you guys and sit down and share my thoughts and chat with you. I love that I have this platform that I'm able to do this and just share my passion with you guys and you guys are passionate about it too so it's just like so fun let me know in the comments down below what you plan on purchasing or window shopping for um it's just it's such a good time i love it it's like if i don't go to the stores i feel incomplete like i just want to smell my stuff all day ah, i love it it's the best part of the day and I get to do this all day, right? Wake up, put on lotion, put on perfume. Go to bed, put on perfume. Spray perfume, put on lotion. Like, what a life, right? <laughs> so let me know if you enjoyed this video. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below, leave your mark here on my channel. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. I guess we're on the road to 200,000. Imagine that. I'm just so grateful to be here, okay? Everyone's like, on the road to a million. I'm like, y'all. I'm just happy to be at 100K. I mean, shoot for the stars, but I'm just so happy we're here. So thank you guys so much for your endless love and support. It never ever goes unnoticed or unappreciated. We have the candle in the back here. Um, I don't know if you guys can even see it, if it's even gonna focus. Honestly, I don't smell it. It's not really doing much. Um, but I will let you guys know. I'll probably leave a comment and say, you know, if it has a strong scent. But so far, I don't smell anything, but I will keep you guys updated. Make sure you guys, if you haven't yet, I'm on Lemon 8, which is so fun. And if you haven't yet, download that app. It's super fun. It's kind of like Pinterest and Instagram made a baby. And I'm on there, and I will link my Lemon 8 profile down below. And if you haven't, make sure you follow me on Instagram at ash220 underscore and TikTok at livingash20. I love you guys so very much and I am so happy that you are here and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.